What is pussy popping, you beautiful humans? My name is Ariane Andrew. I'm Matt Dillon, and welcome back to another special piping hot edition of Sipping the Tea, quarantine edition at home, where we uh, sip that tea, and now guess what? Spill that tea, leaving me hanging. <laughs> I got it, girl. Your voice is way better than mine. What's up? Who you got there, Glitty? Well, a little Glitty. She's ready for her nap. We got Miss Mama here. And this beautiful lady in the bottom, in the middle, I'm not well sure where she comes up in this, uh, this thing. Our number one top rated episode, I think maybe right from the beginning, maybe episode two or three. And the requests keep coming in. We want her back, we want her back. So when we got, when we got the, uh, the message and the word, the queen of Versailles herself, Jackie Siegel, my love, I wish we were together, but welcome back. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yes, of, of course. course. Yeah. Oh, I've been like so so lonely in my closet here, and I'm, <laughs> I <always> feel like, <laughs> and I have an amazing closet, you know, with my own fireplace and all, and so I feel like I'm having a little closet party today. I will oh, cheers closet to party. a closet party, girl. <laughs> so cheers and happy single de Mayo. Yes, single de Mayo. <laughs> so let's just dive right on in. Um, Jackie, how are you surviving quarantine? What have been some takeaways that you've gotten from this whole experience? How are you holding up? Give us a tea, girl. Spill the tea. Okay. Well, um, actually, um, I'm quite a bit busier than I normally am, as kind of being a, a mother, or a housewife, and a maid. I, I mean, I do everything, and. Um, it's tough. I mean, I'm also the chef now. So thanks to having, <laughs> th thanks to having like Google and stuff, I'm, I'm looking up a lot of fantastic recipes. I've learned how to cook a little bit better, um, try to do kid-friendly food, and um, I'm making tacos tonight. So <laughs> we'll be right there. We'll, we'll be over, girl. Save us a plate. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love tell it. you, it's, it's not easy. I mean, because we have such a big house and and the thing is, and the kids, like, no one's on any schedule now because they're all home from school. And so we've got the seven kids here and my husband, and they, some of them get up early to go fishing. And, and, of course, they've got their online classes, but they're all different times, and they're hungry at different times. And just when I thought I got done with one meal, the next one comes in, I'm hungry, Mom, I'm hungry. <laughs> and, of course, they want food on the plate right there and then, you know? Well, I, I but, say you're a powerhouse woman, and I live... For those that are listening to this, she is currently in her walk-in closet, honey, with this fireplace. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. The fireplace is right behind me. <laughs> I love it. So I want to, for those that haven't heard about you, because I'm, I'm like, there should be nobody that's never heard of the Queen of Versailles. Can you just give us a little rundown on kind of how you came to be in the presence of the world? Give us, you know, very, very brief little back history on you. Okay, it was pretty much by accident. Um, I, I was involved in the beauty pageant business, which I still am, and I won Mrs. Florida. Um, I went to an opening on Rodeo Drive for Versace. I met a photographer there, and I was like the only one who wasn't like anyone at the party. Like uh, all of like everyone was like on the A list, and the, the photographer says, "Well, who are you?" <laughs> you know, and I said, "I don't know. I'm just a for Mrs. Florida." and um, I've got like uh, a bazillion kids, private jet, and I'm building this really big home. So she's got very interested. She came to visit me and she did all the research and stuff and found out it was the largest single family home in the United States. And she's, she came to me and she says, let's um, video the construction of the home. And I said, that's great. So anyways, it turned into a documentary and since she like um since i'm like always wearing my crown and being the queen she, she and, and the, the house is named uh, versailles so she called it the queen of versailles so i kind of got stuck with that name you know it's funny it, like, it, it, it suits you babe not a bad name to have at all <laughs> yeah and you know when i go out like um um i ordered some um um food out online for delivery for um some uh, salsa and chips and stuff from a Mexican store today. And I said, hey, it's Jackie Siegel. And they're thinking, that sounds familiar. And I said, the queen of Versailles. Oh, the queen of Versailles. And, and, then, <laughs> and, and they, they threw in a free bottle of tequila for me. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I guess the name has its perks. <laughs> benefits, benefits. Right. I know. It's so great. We want to talk about kind of like you know the last time we chatted with you. Um, you know, we got to touch on Victoria's voice, and uh, you know, just even before I dive into that, like I kind of want you know to share with the viewers if people don't know. Uh, about Victoria's voice to kind of share a little bit of that and then we'll dive into like what you've been doing since the last time we spoke okay great um, well for the uh, people that are um, new today or or missed the last episode of, of us um, our, our 18 year old daughter our oldest daughter she died of a drug overdose and actually one of my um, we have um, five girls and three boys and one of my other daughters today told me that they just lost a, a friend of theirs from a drug overdose last night. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the drug epidemic, it's getting worse. And I think especially with the quarantine, that a lot of people are turning to yeah. maybe drugs out of boredom or you know depression or whatever. And so I, I, I'd like to say more than ever, for anyone who hasn't gotten our book of Victoria's Voice on Amazon, that's this one right here. It's, it's, it's her diary and it's all about the drug epidemic. If they have time, you know, uh, pick it up on Amazon. But uh, Victoria's voice, um, that her name is Victoria and we've dedicated our life to spreading the word ab about saving um, young people's lives from drugs. And we're going to be announcing, which maybe I can come on in the fall, um, a, a victory club, <laughs> a vi it. which is an incentive program for middle school and high school students that get rewards for for not um, doing drugs like free concert tickets and um, preferred parking at, at their high school like parking up front which is great so we've got a we're putting a whole program together and I'm really excited that you, know, you asked me about that and I really appreciate it and I hope to come back on when we launch our victory clubs you you're always welcome Ben oh always. I love you guys yeah always welcome so from there you're, you're kind of like the author, the, the presence, and now your baby girls are part of this lineage that you've created with this children's book, Oliver Uncolored. Give us a little background. You know, you're, you've got these mega authors in the family. Everything's- I know, I know. Well, when, when um, Victoria passed away, she was uh, the oldest of, of the children. Um, my twins were only eight years old. And they didn't really understand um, what drugs were. They didn't understand death so much and, and how can you lose a brother or a sister? And it was just so sudden. I mean, it wasn't like we were prepared for it, you know? And so they were all in shock. And, and, and um, as a way to cope with their loss, they decided to write their own book. And it's about a dog. It's about um, actually a dog that we, one of our dogs, Oliver, who, while they were writing the book, unfortunately, um, he passed away too. Oh. So they had to deal with like a double death. Yeah. But, um, but I guess that made the book even more important to them to carry on his legacy as well as their sisters. Oh, yeah. But the, the basis of the book is about um, kind of like Home Alone, but uh, with the, the Oliver being home alone. Where <laughs> it's, it's all of us in the book and we take off for a vacation and with all the commotion, we forget to bring him. So it, it's about his travels or I mean, his exploration in the house with the bunny rabbit and this and that. And it's really like a, a, a book written for like tw um, tweens, you know, okay. not quite teenagers. So like around like the eight to 14 kind of age group. And, and in there, what we've done, because we try to keep things positive, and even though the book has a sad ending, you have a choice at the very end to pick the happy ending or the sad ending. Wow. Mm. Which is, yeah, so um, uh, I thought that was kind of unique for them to come up with. So It's, um, it's genius. I think, yeah. it's, I think it's so important to, you know, when, when children are faced with, you know, and your family's been through quite a lot on many, yeah. many levels, to have an outlet like that, that you're supporting them in the creative way of getting through things. And I take my, I'm wearing a hat, I take my hat off to you and I put it right back on. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> because I think, it, I think it's a beautiful thing to move past something and like honor it 
in the creative form, like you did with Victoria's Voice, yeah. right. like you did with your philanthropy. But I, I love that it's kind of going down to the children now. I, I think it's so important and, you know, for them to start their own journeys into whatever yeah. they want to be. Yeah, yeah and, and um, their teachers um, have been calling up and they're saying, wow, uh, we didn't realize that you were such a hands-on mother like that, you know? And they said, that it's really wonderful that I encourage the, the girls to um, publish a book. And yeah, um, yeah and, and during this time where we're kind of having to spend more time at home, even though with the quarantine somewhat lifting a little bit, it's still not good to just jump out and make your first like reservation or you know start a party <laughs> or anything. You yeah. still kind of should, should play smart. So um, with any of the other parents that they have children at home, they should encourage the, their children, whatever like they see that their um, strong traits are, what, whether it's drawing pictures or they're artistic or um, things like that to kind of tie up their time and pr promote them or learning a language or something, you know? So, I love that. Yeah. It's, it's great. I, I've been trying to brush up on my Spanish, but... Uh, <laughs> A few, a, a few more, a few more uh, margaritas. Tequila, tequila. <laughs> Por favor. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, well, what I have to say is just, I mean, even your uplifting spirit, it's, I think it's very positive that you're spreading this word because you've used what is happening, which people could think is like life ending for themselves, but you're right. taking what has happened and shedding so much positive light and doing things in ways that it's allowing people to say like, hey, you can take a positive from a negative. So, I mean, continue doing what you're doing because it is definitely working. And um, just a quick little question. Is there any more tea you could spill um, on any more new projects coming? Any um, oh. things that are happening? Um, yeah, we got, geez, there's so much going on. I mean, <laughs> this may have to be a double episode and I do have my tea here. It is good, <laughs> good to be the queen. <laughs> So I just thought I'd throw that in there. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing, um, everyone's asking what's going on with Versailles. Yes. Uh, yes. As anyone who saw the documentary with the economic crisis in 2008, we had to stop construction on Versailles. Now it's 2000, 2020, and there's another economic crisis because of this stupid COVID-19, yeah. Yeah. which is just awful. Um, we have stopped construction on Versailles once again. I mean, we were due to open um, and throw our first event this um, New Year's for 2021. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, New Year's Eve 2020 to, uh, you know, 21. And that's not going to happen now. So um, we are still doing Zoom calls with the designers. So we are picking out, um, we are making progress virtually on Versailles. But we needed to stop construction for like a few reasons. Well, the main one is because all of the employees at Versailles, yeah. I mean, they needed to be home with their families and in quarantine. You yeah. know, I didn't want to subject them to unnecessary unquarantine. You know, I, I, I feel like finishing Versailles wasn't like a necessary thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Lame. Like food, food like uh, the food service is a necessary thing. Of course. So, you know, of course yeah. you need the grocery stores and hospitals. But, um, but you know what? Um, I don't want to catch it either. So if they all caught it. No, I it. agree. Yeah. I want to, I want to touch on the, the YouTube original that you did princess. Oh, of yes. Yes. Because I think that's people I, I'm like, you're my queen. We live for you. And I didn't even know that was there. I got to speak to Jack Ketsoy and be like, girl, you didn't tell me there was a whole like hour and a bit special. Tell us about <laughs> oh it. Goodness. I know everyone just says, um, give us, you know, they want to see a sequel to the, the Queen of Versailles documentary. So um, what I did, I had a camera girl follow me around or, um, or sometimes I did it with my cell phone. So it's very rough. I look awful in the movie, but of course you have to keep in mind I was crying every night. Uh, yeah. But I like no makeup and um, I look a million times better now than I did like than not, at least now I know how to get lighting. I didn't know <laughs> She's that got much. it together. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so it basically followed us through our journey after um, our daughter died of a drug overdose and it shows like bits of the funeral and all of the wonderful things 
that we're doing up in Washington, D.C. Um, is part of our mission of, of saving lives. And I think people will find it quite interesting, especially um, it's good for people that know someone that's doing drugs to watch or even if um, someone has like a teenager that's doing drugs, the parents should tell the, the teenager to watch it because in all actuality, the person who dies of a drug overdose, I mean, they're gone. Hopefully they're up in heaven. You know, they're out of pain. Yeah. But the whole family, you know, the, the parents, the siblings, friends, they all suffer for the rest of their lives. And I, I think once they see this movie, they, they might think twice about mm. um, taking that, that um, like pill that they got off the street that, that could be yeah. laced with fentanyl, yeah. Yeah. you know? And um, so hopefully that would, and, and that's, um, it's on YouTube, it's free. It's called The Princess of Versailles. And my YouTube channel, my Facebook, Instagram, it's all the real queen of Versailles. She is branded across the board, honey. Yeah. As, 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 as opposed to the fake one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's only one queen. Well, there's three queens in this video right now. Right? Do you realize, at, at one point when, when um, that movie came out, um, if someone typed in, um, I got more um, searches as the queen than uh, the actual queen of England. Then Can then you believe Elizabeth. that? Sorry, Elizabeth. It's all about Jackie, honey. It's all right. about Jackie. So we're going to do some <laughs> quick rapid fires to close us out. And you want to start, Miss Aria? Yes. So last show that you binge watched on. Oh my God. Um, we've been watching Breaking Bad. <laughs> that's, that's Fabulous. Yeah. And I tell one. you, that is amazing. And it's been going on so long. I mean, it's five seasons and yeah. like, I don't know, 10 episodes a, um, a season and each, each episode's almost like 50 minutes. So you can imagine how long that's taken. So I just watched you... five years of Breaking Bad in the past three weeks. <laughs> Go Jackie. All right, I, gotta, I got the next rapid fire is gonna be tough because I couldn't answer it. Shoes or handbags? Shoes or handbags? Oh my God, totally handbags. And, and I have a, a huge closet full of shoes that I never wear because, <laughs> because I'm, I'm so used to like now we're being barefoot and flip flops. I only wear them for photo shoots. Gotcha. <laughs> or, 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 or to make my appearance. And then I keep my flip flops in, in my. She's back. <laughs> right? Yeah, true. to change into. But, uh, but I, I do love both. But um, I, I'm, I'm into comfort now. But um, I'm there with you. Nothing and, else that. <laughs> and, and I learned how to shop on Real Real. Oh, so I, the Real Real. <laughs> I, yeah, so what's great is like, and I, I like, like some some of the clothes I, I like changed my mind like they're they're not, I don't like like them anymore it's not my style or maybe they're too young for me so I'm, I'm putting stuff on real real and I just use the money to get something else and my husband doesn't even know or complain like it's not Perfect. on the credit card That's bill the best way. <laughs> and I yeah and I just got a, an Hermes bag off of there so I mean that was Ooh, pretty cool I'm shopping in your closet <laughs> Oh my we're god. We're gonna do god. the next episode in your closet. Done. Yes. Um where do you oh, live? Are you in Florida? Florida? No, but guess I will be in Florida from June third to July fifth. So I will be looking you up. Oh you should. Absolutely. We I'm, coming to my, I'm coming to Miami. So we'll I'll, I'll reach out. But we'll talk about oh. I just gave everybody my dates. Anyway. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna it. be so popular here. I um, there's going to be a line of people at Versailles thinking you're going to be there. Um, I was like, whoops. <laughs> and they're going to party at Versailles. Um, oh, also on um, uh, YouTube, I have my own YouTube channel called The Real Queen of Versailles. Um, well, we so we it. got you Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, The Real Queen of but, Versailles. And I'm in some monster movies, so some thrillers. Um, so I'm, um, I'm putting... I'm digging those up from the archives, and we're, um, one of them is already on, um, on on that channel. So you can watch me in the monster movies. Um, also, um, I'm I'm going to be posting more and more stuff on there, and there are, there one of my photo shoots that I shot in our Elvis Presley suite up in Las Vegas. Um, I posted, um, which is quite fabulous. Um, the first part 
they add, it's kind of boring because it shows all the food like right before the photo shoot yeah there's like there's like five minutes versus like just the photographer i don't know what he was thinking he should have you know be showing all the food i had so um but the rest of it it gets better like the second half of the video with me like i'm, I'm in the fireplace with like some of the most gorgeous guys i'm the queen and holding yes. up torches it's it's, it's <laughs> pretty amazing <laughs> i love it i want to i want to just quickly uh round out how are you how's like the westgate in vegas how is that affecting everything in vegas is that kind oh of, it's terrible um yeah they uh it was mandatory every casino resort so you guys are shut, shut down. down westgate yeah. shut down shut down it's, it's yeah. awful yeah i heard yeah. Vegas is like a ghost town like the strip everything is completely shut down. Mm -hmm. Every time I'm in Vegas and I drive past that Westgate, I'm like, hey, Jackie, what's up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you need to come by and see our penthouse there. It's oh, so I'm cool. coming by. I'm going to, I'll am going. i be in Florida, honey. Well, let's cheers it out. Yes. Ari, where can we okay. find cheers. you and all your good stuff? Um, You guys can follow me across the board at Ariane Andrew. Where can everybody You can find me at Madzilla 1983 and the real queen of Versailles, honey. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, you. Jackie. Yes. Yay, woohoo! Cheers. Cheers. I love you. Cheers.